Hey, YouTube. Talk over my rooster here. I gotta watch him. If I turn my back on him, he'll try to jump. Uh, I just want to make a little video, and I want to stress: I am not a professional firearms instructor. I don't I, I, amateur pro, whatever. I'm not an instructor. I'm just going to show you what I've learned over the years. <laughs> And, uh, you know, some of it's reading, some of it's video, some of it's on hands training. And, and I don't say that my technique is perfect or is the proper way. It's just the way I do it. Um, and I'm kind of making it <laughs> because I see a lot of videos of people, maybe new gun owners, uh, people that don't. Maybe they've had guns, but they still don't shoot them a lot. And I've seen mistakes they've made. And, I, and I'm not telling you my way is perfect or my way is the right way. This is the way I do it. And I do see some <laughs> Maybe I need to shoot him. Anyway. <laughs> uh, just some common mistakes and maybe some tips to help you. Uh, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not, you know, certified, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but some things that might make it a little better for you, a little easier. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few things, then I'm going to shoot. But one of the things that I've seen people do, and this is a common mistake, and you can get away with it with a revolver, but it's best just not to ever get in the habit of it. And that is with your support hand. I see people wrap their thumb around their grip. Do not do that. If you have found yourself doing that, stop it. Because what can happen is when this slide comes back, it can just rip the crap out of your thumb. <laughs> you know, if you're lucky, you just get a chunk of skin took off. But I mean, it could literally, it could break your thumb, you know? I mean, if you got you, you know, maybe a, it depends on the firearm, but if you got your thumb wrapped around here and that slide's coming back, guess what? You're potentially just, you know, you're potentially injuring yourself. All right. First tidbit. Second tidbit would be the way I do it, and there's different stances, the weaver, a sausalese, whatever, just whatever's more comfortable for you. I kind of, I know you can't see my feet, I kind of put myself in a, I'm not parallel, I got my my strong side foot is back just a little bit, I guess it would be a weaver stance, I think, I, I could be wrong on that, um, and how I grip my gun is I push it forward, and what I do is I'm pushing with this hand. My, my my dominant my shooting hand I'm pushing the gun forward and then with my support hand I'm gonna grab my and some guns have like a finger grip here most of mine don't I think only one of mine actually has a finger grip up here but what I do is I lay my hand there this arm I'm pushing forward this arm I'm pulling back so I'm actually fighting myself you know but what that does is it gives you a rock steady grip. Now you're putting some tension, you know, on all your muscles there, but it'll give you a rock solid steady hold of the gun. And like I say, I weigh like 155 pounds or whatever, and uh, and I'm, most of my shooting is a 45 auto. Need, uh, some reloads. But these are full power. Uh, and that's what I shoot, you know? And of course I grew up shooting guns so they don't intimidate me. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully I won't make a fool of myself. But this is uh, what the way I do it. Like I said, I'm gonna push forward with this hand and I'm gonna pull back with this hand. Of course I'm not gonna, you know, pull back harder with this hand, just enough to give me a good stable platform.
and it allows you to really take uh, get good control of the gun. So like I said, I'm going to push forward with this hand, I'm going to pull back with this one. A cheap magazine, it didn't hold my slide back. It's a Chip McCormick, it should hold it back. <coughs> uh, but it just, no matter what size handgun you're shooting, I got some 45 long colts that I've got loaded beyond 44 Magnum stats. And my little bony butt can handle it. So push forward with this hand, pull back with this one. And even if I was drawing concealed, what I would do is I was, as I was pulling out, I'd be bringing the gun up. If I can with my support hand, I mean, I may shoot right here if I have to. But what I want to do is get that muzzle up on the target fast as possible, grab it, the gun with this hand, push forward and pull back. Take your safety off. Yep, see it held back that time. So anyway, just a, hopefully a little bit of a helpful video. Uh, like I say, I don't, I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know it all. And I hate making comments, pointing to people and saying, hey, you're doing that wrong. Uh, if you're asking, that's okay. But just to point it out, I, I can't do it. I, I try not to anyway, because nobody likes to know it all. But this is how I shoot. This is how I, over the years, this is what I have, what works for me. A different stance or something may work for you. So, you know, I mean, I've gone through times where I was holding a gun like this. But I've come to the way, the, the, what works the best for me, i found, is supporting my other hand, pulling back with this and pushing forward with that. And that's another thing. The way, I know some people like to grab a slide. I, I don't like to do that. How I've learned, I don't like the extended slide releases off subject a little bit, but the way I've come to train and what works for me really good is when I insert a new mag, I'll just reach up with my thumb, drop it with that forehand thumb. Anyway, hope it was helpful. I hope it was helpful anyway.